there. I'm sure you're very excited to start this new chapter and learn more about Access. Just to sum it up, Microsoft Access is an information management tool that helps you store information for reference, reporting and analysis. It helps you manage and analyze data more efficiently. So without further ado, let's get into the chapter and learn more about Microsoft Access. Let's start talking about the primary key. A primary key is a field in a table whose value uniquely identify each record in a table. It does not allow null values or duplicate values. A table can have only one primary key. For example, consider a table given below employee details that stores values such as employee ID, name, date of birth, address and phone number. In this table, two employees can have the same name but they cannot have the same employee ID. Therefore, we need to make the employee ID as the primary key. A field that contains unique values for each record is normally set as the primary key. Now, let's see how to use primary key. Open your table in the design view. In the design view, right click on the field and click the primary key options from the list. Set the indexed value to yes, no, duplicates in the file properties so that access can automatically increment the value for each new record. Let's talk of queries in access now. Queries are used to search and display data from one or more tables. In queries, you define a specific search condition to display the required data. To find out the specific record, you have to specify a condition in a query and then run the query. There are two ways in which you can create queries. Query Design and Query Wizard. Let's see how we can create a query using the query design. Consider the employee table given below. Let's design a query to display employees records from the IT department, employees records with salary greater than or equal to 50,000, the records sorted in ascending order by the name and the field's name, department and salary. Let's create a query for the above conditions now. Select the query design option from the query section in the create tab. The query display window appears. Select your table from the show table window and click on add button. Select the field name, department and salary to the field pane. Select the sorting order as ascending. Select the criteria option of the salary field and enter the criteria greater than or equal to 50,000 to match the search conditions. Once you have entered the required conditions, click the save icon to save the query. The save as window appears. Enter the suitable query name and click OK to save the query. To see the result of the query, click on your query in the navigation pane on the left and the result would be shown in the right pane. Let's get on to another aspect of access now which is forms. Forms are used to enter data into tables. We can create a form in two simple ways, by using a wizard or by using the design view. Let's see the steps to create a form using the wizard. Select the form wizard option from the forms section in the create tab. The form wizard window appears. Select your table from the drop down. Click the greater than button to move fields one by one in the form section. After moving the required fields, click on next. Now select the layout of your form and click on next. Type the title that you want for your form and select the open the form to view or enter information option and click the finish button. The form will be displayed as shown below. You can navigate the records using navigation arrows given at the bottom of the window. 
You can also add new records using these arrows. Now, let's move on to reports. Reports are used to organize and present your data in an easily readable and attractive format. Using Access, you can create reports from a query or a table. Now, we will create a report of the existing employee table. Select the Report Wizard option from the report section of the Create tab. Select the Employee table from the drop-down menu of Table or Queries in the Report Wizard window. Click the double arrow button to move all the fields in the report section. After moving all the required fields, click on Next. To group data on the basis of the field value, select any of the field names and add it in the grouping section using the arrow sign and click on Next. Select the sorting order as ascending and sort the field by name and click the Next button. Select the layout and orientation and click on Next. Type the title for your report and select the Preview the Report option and click on Finish. The report gets generated and displayed on the window as shown here. Alright students, with this we will wrap up the chapter where we learnt more about Microsoft Access. Stay tuned for more fun chapters. See you soon!